Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and today I just want to show you an example of something that a lot of people who uh, manage POA greens uh, observe, but maybe not to the extent that we saw in this particular site. Uh, we're talking about Candlewood Country Club, and Mike Carancy is the superintendent there. And back in March, when he aerified using 3 8 inch hollow tines uh, set at uh, 2.6 inch spacing, uh, he had a lot of uh, a lot of turf pull up on his POA greens on on one POA green, and that green was aerified first. It was in the dark. Uh, they didn't notice uh, the pulling until they got near the end of that green, and they switched the spacing away from the 2.6 up to a 2.8 inch spacing, and there wasn't any problems with the aerification on all the other greens. It was just the extra tight spacing that. Uh, Mike was trying to get a lot of uh, organic matter out of the greens that uh, seems to have caused an interesting effect. So in this picture you see some of the rippling that is still present in July. So that's quite a few months out and uh, Mike did everything he could to try to, uh, to even this surface out and it's still, it's putting okay now, it's not as good as he'd like it to be. Uh, there's sand top dressing, there's been quarter inch uh, solid tine aeration every 14 days and a lot of rolling and the surface uh, is okay, but something odd happened uh, in this process of rolling and trying to bring the surface back to a premier putting surface. So if we take a look at what's going on, in this, in this case we're looking at a, uh, a TDR 300 soil moisture probe with the thin probes that are on that probe, and you see when you stick it into the ground that you can see the turf pulling up just with that small amount of resistance on the, uh, on the soil probe from the TDR 300. Well, if you uh, take a look at what happens when you pull a core, like if you're going to change a cup, and you take that core out, you can see that when you lift up the top, you literally have a toupee. This is the thinnest toupee that I've ever seen, and there's just no roots on the bottom. And what we suspect happened, and uh, then the corrective actions are, are addressing this, is that the, the aeration caused a, uh, the sub soil right under the surface of the thatch layer to mound up where the where the air fire pulled in and some uh, some aerification material fell down in the holes and some was was between the holes just with lifting up the turf that resulted in an undulation not just the surface of the green but the soil underneath the uh, underneath that toupee and you can see when you lift up the toupee that there's actually contours that match the surface uh, of the turf and uh, we think that the part of the problem is that we didn't get good rooting uh, from that uh, initial damage because the uh, the attempt to uh, roll and smooth out the surface has caused that whole toupee to slide around and kind of grind off all of those new roots that keep trying to root down uh, from that surface toupee area into the soil. So the the continuous rolling activities three to five times a week to try to smooth out the surface actually just keeps the roots from grind, grinding off. So now that the, the extra rollings have been have pulled, pulled off now and the quarter inch tine aeration is going to keep going and just to get the roots to move down and root into the entire surface area and that should eliminate this toupee problem. But we thought you'd enjoy uh, seeing this. If you have a similar situation uh, with the turf pulling up uh, in the springtime, uh, an initial roll to try to bring that back to uh, to a good level is good, but then pull the rollers off and start sand top dressing the uh, the surface rather than trying to to roll the surface uh, firm again. Because when you get that slippage between the toupee and the underneath soil, you're just grinding off the roots. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again.